You go public and 30 million people hear what you gotta say, nothing, I mean nothing, will ever be the same again. Now the work we did here is confidential, not for public scrutiny, any more than our one's family matters. We're very serious about protecting our interests. He's got something to say, he wants to say it, I want it on 60 Minutes. Maybe for the audience it's just voyeurism, something to do on a Sunday night, and maybe it won't change a thing when people like myself and my family are left hung out to dry, used up, alone. What does this guy have to say? I don't be paranoid yet. That threatens these people. Well, this isn't cigarettes are bad for you. Who is this? <gasps> they have no right to hide behind a corporate agreement. He can talk, we can air it. The worst kind of an organized smear campaign against a whistleblower. Choplifting, failing to pay child support. They can paint everything with that brush. What, what are you going to do now? You're going to finesse me, lawyer me some Come more. On. Try Mr. Wallace. When we aired this segment, I was told, don't talk. Mind my own business. We could be a grave risk. We're doing this with or without you, Lord. Are you a businessman or are you a newsman? He's only the key witness in the biggest public health reform issue in U.S. history. Does he go on television and tell the truth? Yes. Is it newsworthy? Yes. Are we going to air it? Of course not. Why? Because he's not telling the truth. No, because he is telling the truth. And the more truth he tells, the worse it gets. You manipulated me into this. I fought for you, and I still fight. The American public need to know. Jeffrey! And you wish you hadn't come forward? Dr. Wagon's deposition will be part of this record. You wish you hadn't blown the whistle? Jeffrey! Do I think it's worth it? I told the truth. It's valid and true. And to these people, that's not the point whether you told the truth or not.